hi uh, previous video we have discussed about the uh, testing methodologies the two first part static testing part we have seen uh, in that we have discussed about the reviews walkthroughs and inspections um, and that is the first testing methodology coming to the remaining methodologies okay the development is completed next what is going to happen they will give it to the testing team before the development people giving it to the testing team the development people also do some sort of testing whether everything is working according to the requirement or not why the development people need to test it see for example some application is there they have given it for testing team testing team identified hundreds of bugs or defects then what it means what management will understand testing team is identifying more bugs means the development people doesn't develop the application properly or the development team doesn't understand the requirements properly so that is the reason development people will always try to reduce the number of defects that is the reason before they are handovering it to the testing team development team will perform the testing to ensure everything is working fine if they feel that everything is working at least most of the major scenarios are working then they will give it to the testing team for testing so before testing people getting the application the type of testing development people will do themselves using source code that is a white box test they are using source code they will perform the testing through code not through gui whatever the code they have written they are going to cross check the conditional statements looping statements or the core logic whatever they have written by passing the number of inputs they will try to get the different outputs they are going to validate according to the input they are getting the output or not these all type of testings they are going to perform in the part of white box test you may get it out now why they named it as a white box see if there is a white color box is there you put something into the box everybody can see what is there inside so the person who can see the inside that is the reason they named it as a white box because the white box whoever is doing they know what is there inside they know what they have written inside so that is the reason they named it as a white box testing it is done by the development team okay well so they have done the white box testing everything is working fine and then they are going to hand over it to the testing team testing team job is to perform the test the application okay fine black box testing is something like perform the testing on the application once we get it from the development team through gui graphical user interface tester may not have programming knowledge tester may not understand the coding but still black box testing is something like we are not doing through source code only we are doing through gui graphical user interface let me take a simple example google site is there anybody can test it but do we know which programming language it is developed with same case with facebook we don't know what language they have developed with not we don't know we don't need which language they developed it with but still we are happily working with google daily happily we are working with facebook most of them they don't know which language it is developed with because we don't know whatever the language they developed it with it is none of our business so black box testing is something like testing the application through gui we don't know what is there inside that is the reason they named it as a black box testing it is done by the testing team so white box will be done by the development team black box will be done by the testing team white box they are doing through source code black box we are doing through gui 
same the last methodology is gray box testing this technique you older days they have used as per my knowledge recently projects are not using this approach this is and major disadvantage is there with the gray box so gray box is something like development team will do the both white box and black box both the testings they are going to do it white box and black box they will develop the code they will do the white box and they will do the black box so the combination of white box and black box is something like gray box then what is the disadvantage now also you may get a doubt see the development people can test it why again we need to why why again we need to maintain a separate testing team so simple example here the person somebody is developing the application he feels that everything is working fine he cannot identify the defects in that application because whatever the future he is testing he feels that okay i developed that way and it may be it, it should be working according to the requirement so and so many projects observed that the development people are doing both white box and black box they observed that who developed the application same person is doing testing and it is and previous experience we observed that so many defects are leaking from testing testing phase so many defects are leaking into the production production means live environment so that is the reason every company nowadays maintaining 1 is to 2 ratio or 2 is to 3 ratio or some very big companies and all they are maintaining they are maintain equal ratio 1 is to 1 one developer one tester then they observed that finally everybody every client want quality application if application you developed very well but doesn't have basic uh, functionality also not working then then there is no use to the client so that is the reason each and every application the client want quality so that is the reason gray box nowadays people are not using so coming to the interview point of view interviewer may ask you what is white box testing did you involved in in white box testing what is black box testing how you will do the black box testing how we will do black box testing before we get the application from the development team we will prepare our plan scenarios cases once we get the application we are going to execute all those cases and onto the application and we are checking actual results and expected results if both are same our test case is pass or else test case will be failed we will send that uh, issue to the development team as a bug if they approve it then we can call it as a valid defect so this is the black box testing we used to follow did you ever involved in gray box testing no from testing side from testing side who know the programming language who know the development side they can involve into the gray box say some projects will be that they don't have much budget they are compromising with the quality but still they want to develop the application then in that case they are going to write the uh, they are going to involve into the gray box test was due to the budget constraints and all they may not able to maintain the separate testing team whoever is developed the application they are going to use the same development team for testing so some cases it may happen a uh, gray box uh, testing team also but most of the companies nowadays maintaining some 2 is to 3 ratio or 1 is to 2 ratio they are maintaining but big companies and all they are maintaining 1 is to 1 because they are developing a product if small issue is there in the product they have to lose lot of money they have to spend lot of money to fix that issue and for example th- there is a one product like ms office I- if there is any bug into the ms office and some client identified that to rectify that and send the updated code to the ev- each and every customer who are using the ms office 
how difficult it is so that is the reason every company are maintaining separate testing team so that is the reason so many number of openings are there in the market we no need to worry about whether jobs are there or not in the market there are n number of jobs on testing the reason is every company is maintaining a separate testing team you believe or not some companies are having only testing positions only testing companies or n number of companies are there in the all over the world that is the importance of a testing if somebody told you that no openings for testing don't believe that go to the naukri or monster you can check yourself how many openings are there on each and every type of testing okay so this is about the testing methodologies static testing white box black box gray box so i hope i covered all the interview questions in testing methodology section thank you so much